In this tutorial, we're going to create a, a dreamy look or a soft touch effect on this particular image. And then we'll convert it to black and white and give it like a warm kind of a tone. Um, first, we're going to start off by going to the, the, the background layer here and make sure it's active and hit Control J to duplicate the layer. Now what I'm going to do is add a filter to this. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to play with this slider here and I usually set it to about 20 to 25 on the, on the pixels here. So I'm going to hit it about 25 for this particular image. If you don't want to play around with the slider, just go ahead and highlight it and hit 25 and go ahead and click OK to apply it. Now you notice that the image is kind of blurry. Well you can reduce the opacity here on the layers palette. Click on opacity and drag it all the way over to zero and you'll see how the, image, the way the image looked before. You start dragging it up, up, up till you get that soft touch you like. If you go too hard it'll be blurry again but if you start coming down and playing with the slider and about 25 percent it looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see what it looks like. It's kind of a nice soft uh, kind of dreamy look. Now, now that I have my dreamy look I'm going to go ahead and convert this to black and white. Uh, we talked about black and white in, white in the previous tutorial. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click here on the layers adjustment icon at the bottom of the layers palette right in the center. Click on that and go ahead and I'm going to this time I'm going to choose gradient map for this particular image. I'll click on it. The box will open up. Remember to choose the third one, one, two, three. Boom. And click OK to apply it. Now that gave me a nice black and white. I really like the way that looks. Um, I'm going to zoom in to get a little better view. And move this out a little bit so I can have some space here. Now what I'm going to do is add a vignette to this. Um, in the previous tutorial we did talk about a vignette. What I did last time I clicked on the rectangle marquee tool, made a selection. With my selection I went to uh, select, modify, feather. I want to add a feather to this. I left it about 175. I do it between 150 and 175 depending on the image. I'll go ahead and leave it at 175 for this one. I'll click OK. Boom. There it goes. And it gives me my, my round edges so I know I have a feather. Now, of course, I want the vignette to the outside, so I'll go to Select, Inverse. And there goes my, my, uh, my selection on the outside. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Curves again to, uh, to make my, my vignette. Click at the bottom of the Layers palette, right in the center, which is the Adjustment Layers icon. Click on that and go ahead and click Curves. For this particular image, I'm going to use a dark vignette. So clicking here on the top right, I'm going to click and drag down. Give myself a little darker vignette. And I like the way that looks. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now, before starting the next step, I'll make sure that my, that my swatches are open. I'm going to click here. On the on the the last uh, swatch here, which is dark warm brown, click on it to load it, and then I'm going to go back to the adjustment layers, click on the bottom, and I'm going to click on solid color. So you click on that, boom, and since my my color's not showing, I'm going to drag this over a little bit, and when I pull the cursor out of the box and go towards the swatches, I it it actually uh, turns to an eyedropper. So I click on the brown, load the brown, notice it's up here, and I'll go ahead and click OK. Now you notice that my, my whole image is full of brown. Uh, what I have to do now is change the blending mode on this particular uh, 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 layer here. So here under layers, or it says normal, click on the drop down, in this case it pops up, and we're going to go ahead and choose soft light. Now that gave me a nice warm tone. Uh, I can leave it there. If I, if I feel it's too strong, I can go ahead and uh, lower the opacity. I can go all the way down to zero, and it'll give me black to black and white. But I'll go, I want to actually have a little warm tone there. So I'll leave it about about 80. About 80, 81, that's fine. And I'll go ahead and leave it there. 
um, it looks very very nice very pleasing and I'm gonna go ahead and, and merge this, these these layers right here together. So I'm gonna go to Layer Flatten Image, and I noticed that this little uh, place up here is too light. So I want to kind of darken those edges down. There's different ways to uh, darkening these uh, these parts right here. You can use uh, the Burn tool, which work okay. But another way of doing it is if you create a blank layer, go here to the Layers palette and here at the bottom little icon here is called create a new layer so you click on that and it gives you a blank layer well if you click on the, on the blending mode under layer click here and choose soft light it's going to give you a, so a soft light layer now by going from black to white if you click on have bl black as your foreground color and choose your brush tool and you can lower the opacity to have a little more control about 20% should be fine and you can come in here with a little big with a big brush and you can start painting and then you see how it darkens that up to have a little more control go ahead and zoom in and make it a little smaller brush and the closer you get to the her head here, um, you probably want to lower the opacity a little bit more, just to make sure that you're not overdoing it. Using the space bar and, and click on the mouse to move my image over. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. I think that looks pretty good. So you can go ahead and flatten to finish it off. Layer, flatten image, and it should be done.